J.C. Carruth takes his world as he finds it, and that's the way he handles his hobby. He can wander out in the woods outside of his home in Alpharetta, and suddenly, in the middle of a sentence, he'll stop, duck over to a nearby brush pile, and start hacking away with his pocket knife. All of a sudden, the conversation is about his dancing dolls. Mr. Carruth will cut a twig here and another from over there, grab a portion of an old tree limb from under the pine needles, and head towards the house. He takes what you'd call Mother Nature's odds and ends, and with maybe a scrap of plywood, he'll come up with one of his little people. I was visiting an east of mine, and I saw this model, and at the time, I didn't have any idea that I'd ever start making one. And I told my wife, I said, I can make one of those things. So I just got me up a piece of wood, and, and it looked like a kangaroo when I got through with it. From that, I began to sort of improve on it a little and uh, practice it. And uh, I said that uh, if two legs will dance, why well, four, four can dance. So I started making horses and dogs. There's an old 78 RPM record on the phonograph and Mr. Carruth figures that's the perfect accompaniment for a little dancing. I tell you, the secret of the whole thing is how you tap on that board, and, uh, and that vibration is what does it. And of course, it's sort of like rubbing your stomach and patting your head, or rubbing your head and patting your stomach, whichever one you want to call it. I've always liked dancing, and I've, uh, I've gone to dances. I never could go through a square dance. I didn't have... I'm too dumb, I reckon. Uh, but I've gone to these square dance, I mean round dances and uh, waltz and, uh, and uh, I guess I could jitterbug. Yeah, well, me and my dogs are just dancing fools, to tell you the truth. <laughs> now, we get with it at times. With J.G. Carruth, his talented dolls, and the world's only dancing sweet potato duck. This is Andy Johnston. <laughs> All right. <laughs>